Hi everyone, welcome. Yeah, can you believe it? <laughs> Seven years creating videos for for all you guys out there in the YouTube world. Videos about worm farming. My very first video was really sort of a cry for help. Oh my goodness, look what I've got. I got worms. What do I do next? <laughs> I mean, granted, I did my research and that first video was really almost an informative video. Um, pretty much showing what I thought I had learned and opening up the floor for you know input on what I could have done better or differently so the uh, the vermiversary not you know a little bit different from vermiversary vermiversary videos in the past where we've maybe started a time-lapse video or something today it's just gonna be a pretty routine check-in with the vermi bag mini and even though this box might look very similar, if not identical, to the box we'd used in the past, one major difference is that it's a brand new one. The one we had was starting to fall apart, so I figured, you know what? The first batch of this year's autumn leaves coming in, let it happen in a brand new box. <laughs> so let's uh, slip on a glove, get on down into the Vermi Bag Mini, and take care of giving them their yummy feeding. Oh yeah, before we dismiss this piece of paper so casually, it was not only convenient to have something to put that little billboard on, but the reason it rested out here was to give this um, side of the bin shade so that there'd be darkness under that piece of paper versus this side getting a little bit of, a little bit of light passing through, through the translucent almost transparent plastic top covering and we wondered if perhaps we would see added traffic in the section that was allowed to keep dark it's kind of hard to say I'm definitely seeing signs of flying insects it's the little it's the little uh, wings that uh, give them away every time they're walking I could see little little hints of light reflecting from above and that's the wings of the little flying insects so here I go again with my mosquito dunks <laughs> treatment I'm almost wondering if maybe putting it in at the end might be a good idea well perhaps putting it in at the end and putting it in now in the beginning are both good ideas getting the uh, the BTI bacteria that comes with the mosquito dunks blended in and and then maybe at the end too if we don't forget perhaps putting a little bit right there in the area where we would have to assume that the flying insects are making themselves at home in this top thin layer of material so let's let's push this leafy matter aside even though I've got a fresh box full of new leafy matter that we can give them uh, I figure let's push what we have aside and maybe we could put it to good use sometimes I just blend this stuff in as I'm going around and perhaps that's something we could do I'm sure the worms would appreciate that but I figured let's clear the center of the bin which is where we feed this coffee filter was indicating where we fed last and well the stuff that they're getting today includes a day's worth of coffee plus a replacement coffee filter so I guess the feeding zone indicator, which was actually showing some major signs of degradation here at this point, <laughs> can get reused as bedding down in the feeding area. And we'll put a nice new replacement out. So, the interesting thing about this stem is that it actually outdates the bin itself because it came in with the worms when we launched off this system. And that might not be the same story for all the pumpkin stems that are floating around in this system yeah I think that one might have come in a little bit later but uh I actually went into oops just disturbed some wormies working hard here on getting some stuff broken down for us so um so yeah I, last time I was in here I was uh showing on my information board some stats about this system and one unusual stat that we would not never really looked at in the past very much was the amount of time that had passed since this 
st um, stem of a pumpkin was actually placed into a worm bin. And the system that that was actually placed into was a, one of my yellow buckets. When these worms were originally launched into yellow buckets for about six months, or I think it was precisely six months, where they did a really great job and then emptying the buckets, plus that's including all the castings too, so no castings got harvested then. We just took the buckets, the worms, everything they'd been producing for six months, leftover bedding food, everything that was used to pretty much launch this system. So this system really hit the ground running by just being sort of a combination of multiple active systems that had been uh, in service already at that point. So you know, since we've got nice new leaves, these ones that have been in here now for the past two weeks since the last check-in, seem like pretty much the perfect foundation to put today's feeding on. So why don't we go ahead and drop that stuff down where we're gonna put the food. And you know these slow composting things from days gone by, 570 days by the way, since that thing went in originally. I checked the spreadsheet <laughs> earlier. Let's, uh, let's also reuse that feeding zone indicator down here as a replacement is coming in once we once we empty that coffee into the feeding zone and that's their delicious meal for the day these look like the stem end and the other end of some zucchini here's the inside of a pepper 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 whole bunch of that as well and maybe some other things too but that's um that's about it I guess for our check-in with these little guys on our seven year vermiversary. Crazy. Yeah, you know, I'm sure a lot of you are probably even commenting at this point saying, Why didn't you start a new time lapse? You are due for one, aren't you? I completely agree. <laughs> You're absolutely 100% right. So one of these days, I definitely got to get something started again. But today, I've got some errands I need to run. I couldn't really get headlong into a big major production, but I had some worms that needed to be fed. And this, I guess, has turned into a little bit of a quiet, kind of a laid-back vermiversary. <laughs> so... I just hit a little score there of some unused bedding type materials. All right, we managed to blend in a good bit of what we found here in the beginning. The top was pretty much coated in stuff, and we've even unearthed some other little pockets of bedding type materials. Before we uh, position our feeding zone indicator, I definitely like the idea of coming in with some nice fresh leaves. But you know what? Before we do that let's right down here onto the moist bedding here before we drop in a bunch of dry material let's just get a little bit more of this mosquito dunks BTI bacteria into service sometimes I wonder if we'd be better off just opening up this side <laughs> and then we can actually get some stuff flowing out one of these days I'm gonna have to grind up a little bit more I'm running low and um, that in itself is a little bit of an experiment too is just trying to uh, see how mosquito dunks works if it gets applied a little differently than the, conven the conventional way which is for the stuff to just be dropped into the standing water where it's expected mosquitoes to be um, breeding here my mosquitoes that we're trying to eliminate but other flying insects so um, just a little idea on how we might be able to alter the process a bit. But before we cover up here, I figure let's get the spray bottle out here. This would allow us to drop a little bit of moisture down onto these dry leaves before we put the plastic on. And that moisture will linger there on these leaves, hopefully getting them a little bit damp, a little bit soaked. So that worms might want to come up and explore this material as well. This dry stuff isn't going to really interest them all that much. They like the stuff that they're crawling around in to be uh, nice and damp, as you can imagine. Wow, we're losing pressure fast. 
but I don't think we have to go too overboard. Got to remember all those lovely veggies that we threw in there frozen are going to also start expelling some of their moisture content as they thaw and start to break down. So I think we're I think we're going to be in pretty good shape here. So Oops. Okay, I thought I tore through my glove. I saw that little chunk of leaf on there. <laughs> but I think that brings us to the end of today's check-in. With the Burmy Bag Mini, doing great. And, you know, with all your help, all of your support, everyone, the channel's doing great, too. It's so awesome to see how many um, people have come in, signed on as subscribers, and all the um, outpouring of positive energy I get all the time. Uh as well as really informative bits of info all the time too is um, just priceless. <laughs> all right, everyone, that's it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please don't forget to leave me a quick thumbs up before you go. That's always really appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, please also consider subscribing to the channel. That's very much appreciated as well. All right, everyone, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.